but uh, Ivan, we don't screen calls. Uh, and, but when you got something like this, please volunteer it to us so we can get to you earlier. Uh, Ivan is in New York. He's in the Army. And he's saying just recently they tried to have him do drills, uh, basically taking on the American people, which is admitted. I've been to these drills. It's in the news. They admit they're, quote, training to pull triggers. The American people, Stars and Stripes magazine, uh, that's in the Brigade Homeland uh, starts its tour uh, article. You can just type that in. You'll be able to pull it up. But to have uh, him question it and be kicked out of drill, and now he's saying a, a bunch of his unit are saying no, and he's giving out names, I guess. Uh, Ivan, go ahead and give us in a few minutes here. We appreciate you standing up for the Constitution. Uh, give us the full uh, synopsis, uh, recap it, uh, where this was, when this happened, and uh, how many people are refusing to go along with this. Well, our unit consists of about, I would say, 150 people. Uh, we were informed to go in and continue with the training, and I refused. I told my guys, you know, this is against the Constitution. Why would we even, why would we even train to take firearms from civilians in general? And... Uh, this is what what I'm upset at, you know, and I regret joining the military for this, is that if we have a voice, we are told to shut up and follow commands. Now, most of my unit, I mean, is, is questioning everything, and, and we decide not to attend drills in general, you know. We think that people should have the rights, the constitutional rights, and military can go to hell for, I don't know, I'm not going to listen to no command, no high command, and if they ever implement martial law and try to tell me to go out there and shoot civilians, I have one thing coming for them. You know, uh, it's ridiculous, and I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed to be an American citizen at the moment. Wow. Uh, what else happened? Well, afterwards, uh, I was I was uh, uh, escorted with by MP military police, and I was told to to get out of the post. And I was like, all right, I'll leave. And I took my bag and I left. And I told my drill sergeant, and I'm not going to attend drill anymore. Uh, also, my one of my friends came back from Fallujah, in Baghdad, and he's sick. He's sick. He's losing his hair. You know, a lot of unknown things. Now, this guy is a health freak. So I'm scared of my government right now at the moment, you know? Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that this is happening. Uh, can you send us an email with... Any of your other associates or people we can talk to to maybe get some press on this? Because where is this going now? I mean, when were you kicked off the base? Well, I was kicked off. We went to a Huntington, Huntington Station. And uh, they have routine drills every month, Huntington, Fort Dix. Uh, basically, the Eastern Region has monthly drills. And we're now being trained to attack civilians. And most of us are not complying with their orders. So somebody who doesn't comply with their orders, a soldier that does not comply with the orders, will be kicked off the base. But 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 I mean, you're kicked off the base. You're not court-martialed. You don't get in trouble. No, no, you're kicked off the base. In general, just kicked off the base. You know, I've seen a lot of that in the news because they don't want to get reports of it going. So they basically make you go AWOL. Yeah, basically, you can say that. Uh, I was also uh, talking to most of my the guys in the unit, and we do hear you, and we do appreciate what you're doing at the moment, and we thank you for the truth. Well, thank you, sir. Can you send us uh, any information or or or, or uh, your contact? Just send it to um, tips, um, the uh, show tips at infowars.com, and and I would like to talk to you and other uh, um, uh, members of your unit, and uh, m I mean perhaps get a report out on this because. Uh, I mean, are they specifically training you? I mean, how do you know this is for, for domestic operations? Well, the dummies, we, we were we were breaching a building, and we're told to clear the building, and it's uh, a routine training drill. And the dummies were dressed like regular civilians with regular jeans, clothes. You know, one of them had a, a bandana, American bandana on the head. I was like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> I turned around, I looked at the guys, and I said, are you serious? Are we, are we going to go through with this crap, or are we going to just say no more? All right, incredible information. God bless you, my friend. I appreciate uh, Ivan calling into the show, and uh, stay in contact with us. Send us an email with more information. Thank you. That is really frightening information. But I can pull up right now, New York Times. Explorer scouts trained to take on terrorists and more. From three years ago, 
and it's got a whole bunch of photos in it. And the first line says they're training to take on disgruntled vets and kill them. And it shows them practicing to kill good old boys, basically. And then I've got the training manuals where it says the number one enemy of America is veterans. We're the folks that broke that. Everybody knows about it. You can just type in Homeland Security documents, says veterans, number one threat. It's not Al-Qaeda. I saw a report where a, with Delta Airlines, and there were some guys in their Muslim garb. Number one, they were real Muslim terrorists. They're going to be dressed in blue jeans, folks. And people got so scared of them because they were men wearing, you know, Middle Eastern outfits that they freaked out and the pilot wouldn't fly. And everyone was rolling around in convulsions of fear. This is so ridiculous. You should be afraid of the big corrupt government, afraid of doing nothing. What's up with these sorry politicians? Lots of bark. But when it's showtime, whimpering like little shih tzus. You want big cuts. Ron Paul's been screaming it for years. Budget crisis, no problem. Got a trillion bucks year one. That's trillion with a T. Department of Education, gone. Interior, energy, HUD, commerce, gone. Later bureaucrats. That's how Ron Paul rolls. Want to train the swamp? Ron Paul. Do it. I'm Ron Paul, and I approve this message.